Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 17th of January, 2019. Went ahead and looked at some of the comments that some of my viewers made on ZonaReport.com. Wiley left a rather interesting comment and a most interesting link. I went ahead and took a look at the link and I turned the link into this video. The Corbett Report, open source intelligent news, 9-11 suspects, Rudy Giuliani. You know, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I had made mention that I thought that he knew far too much. I don't know if you folks know this, but building number seven was similar to Langley, Virginia, as far as the CIA was concerned. It was a command center for the CIA. And they had rather interesting documents within that facility. The Emron investigation was in high gear. Those documents all went bye-bye, as did the building. And it was reported that Rudy Giuliani knew that that building was going to come down. He also had a command center in that building. And the command center, as you're going to hear, was reinforced. It was pretty much bombproof. It had showers for 30 staff members. Yet not a single member was at the command center when the building was pulled. <laughs> What's written here, and I want you to read the entire transcript, I'm just going to give you a little bit of it. <clears throat> After stepping down as mayor of New York City, Rudy Giuliani tried to launch himself as a national political leader on the back of the single defining event of his career. In the end, he failed miserably, with voters immediately seeing his ploy for what it was, base political pandering. But what many do not realize is that Giuliani's case is not just that of another ghoulish politician pandering on the corpses of those who died on his watch for his own political gain. On the day of 9-11, while the remains of the Twin Tower and World Trade Center 7 were still smoldering, one of the mayor of Giuliani's first concerns was clearing away the evidence from the crime scene. Rudy Giuliani, quote, We were able to move 120 dump trucks out of the city last night, which will give you a sense of the work that was done overnight. You know what night they're referring to? 9-11. Now, you can actually try this. You think that the mayor of New York, you think he could get 120 dump trucks lined up to take away debris overnight? I'll bet you he couldn't find 120 dump trucks in New York to be available at a moment's notice. That's something to think about, isn't it? You know why the Murray building was taken down? Timothy McVeigh had nothing to do with it. Well, he was a patsy. The Murray building was taken down because it contained all the documents that were being assembled to go after the Clintons, the Whitewater. You can't make this stuff up, folks. And in that event, there were unexploded bombs that were found. And if you look at the Murray building, what was left of it, it all blew out. It didn't blow in. What does that tell you? Folks, you really want to read the entire article. You really want to ask yourself, will we ever learn the truth? Well, the corporate report at the end says that there's never going to be an investigation. Well, I'm glad that he's wrong because according to what's been made readily available, there will be an investigation because the grand jury is being assembled or has already been assembled to look at 57 pieces of evidence. 
Hmm. Folks, <laughs> they've moved 1.5 million tons of debris. And that was a crime scene. None of that debris should have been touched. But they had to get rid of the evidence. In the end, they failed. Nanothermite was found. And nanothermites made by the United States government. No one else makes nanothermite. And they needed a whole lot of that to do what they did. You can see rivers of molten steel running out of the building. We'll see how this thing unfolds. I told you, Trump doesn't know how to pick people. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is just but one clear example of exactly that. Please watch the video. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Read what's written. Repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. You might want to reconsider who's representing him. Don't know if you caught what Giuliani said when he was asked about those women that Donald was involved with. And he had said that, I actually did a video on it, he had said that, uh, well, yeah, okay, so there was a payment made, but uh, how do we know there weren't other payments made as well? <laughs> Guy's a complete idiot. Yet he's Donald Trump's lead attorney. What's that tell you about Donald Trump? Like I said, he doesn't know how to pick people. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.